Welcome to my channel. We're going to be doing a short class on the ball that's going to really target and strengthen the center. I'm using my new Fit Beast ball. It's a great quality and I also love the color. So I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. Let's start off sitting on the ball. Taking some nice easy bounces to warm up. So taking a good breath in through the nose and exhaling again deep breath in fill your lungs all the way up with air and exhale all the stale air out let's just do one more time nice big breath in and exhale so we're gonna Clasp the hands behind the head and use that to really lengthen the neck. Take a breath in, breathe out. We're going to engage the pelvic floor muscles, draw the navel in, start curling the hips and walk the feet forward so that the lower and middle back are fully supported by the ball. Press the feet into the floor, take a breath in, open and go back as far as feels good. From here, we're going to exhale, draw the stomach in, lift the head and shoulders up, looking forwards, the neck is as long as possible. Really exhale and draw the stomach in, and inhale, take the head back, open the shoulders, open the elbows wide. Again, exhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. This time we're going to stay there and take little pulses. Inhale and then exhale out, in, out, three, Really work the stomach in. Let's just take three more. Three, two, one. Pull the stomach in just a bit more. Let the head and shoulders go back. And we're going to do that again. So if you feel like you want a bit more challenge, walk back so that the head is a little bit further over the ball. That'll make it a little bit more challenging. Inhale. And exhale, coming up in that very long arc to gaze forwards. Pull the stomach in, and again, we'll do the pulses. Each time you scoop your stomach in more, and in, and in. Another four, three, two, one. Really pull the stomach in as much as you can. And relax over. Again, inhale. Exhale, bringing the head and shoulders up. And this time we're going to point the elbow in the opposite diagonal. So we're beginning to work on the oblique muscles, coming to center, and in the other direction. One more time, just like that. Lifting. It's as if the shoulder wants to come a little bit further in the direction of the opposite knee. And in the other direction. One more time, we're going to stay here and take the pulses here as well. Each time you exhale, pull the stomach in a little bit more. In. Feeling it on the sides of your waist. And let's go to the other side. Exhale a little pulses. Exhaling out, putting stomach in as much as you can. Another four, three, two, one, pull the stomach in and relax over. So allow the head to drop back, take the arms back as far as comfortable and rock forwards and backwards. So we're lengthening the stomach muscles that worked. We're lengthening the spine. Can you stretch and then lift the head and shoulders up. Reach your fingertips. Exhale, again, pull the stomach in as much as possible. Walk the feet back. If you feel you need help, put your hands on the ball. And when you get there, just drop the head and the hands down towards the floor, bending and straightening the knees a few times to get a stretch on the whole back of the body. And bend and stretch one more time. Let's come to a really tall sitting position. Reach the fingertips forward. Inhale, exhale again, curling the hips forwards, drawing the navel back, walking the feet forwards until the head can rest on the ball. 
and the arms reach up and back as far as you like. And from here, we're going to go for a roll up. Inhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Exhale, feel the initiation from the deep stomach muscles. Come up to a sitting position. And we're going to pick up the pace a little bit, walking the feet forwards, taking the arms back and coming up to a sitting position. So feel free to go as fast as feels safe for you. Maybe a bit playful with this. And we're going to do two more just like that, walking forwards and back. One more time. And last one. And then we're going to come to lying on the ball, having your hands and feet on the floor, just relax over. Start with the rocking forward so the weight transfers onto the hand and back towards the feet. Just a few times gently, you might feel that your stomach muscles are getting a bit of a massage after all that work. Just do that little massage one more time. Forwards and back. Next time we're going to walk forwards until the knees are directly in the centre of the ball and the shoulders are directly over the wrists. So take a moment just to find the stability. That sometimes is a bit of a challenge in itself. Inhale, exhale, start drawing the navel in. Pull the stomach in so much of the back starts to round. The knees bend and bring the knees forwards so that the head can come towards the ball and the hips come towards the heels. And back to that plank position. Let's do it nice and slowly one more time, just like that. Really feel the initiation from the deep work of the stomach. Bring the knees in. Find the balance. Drop the head. And coming back. This time we're going to press the hands into the floor, lengthen the toes away, and lift the legs up as high as feels good. And coming back to the plank. One more time, just like that creating as much length through the body as possible, reaching the tips of toes away from the hands. And we're going to alternate once. We're going to round the spine, bringing the ball forwards, going back to a plank. And once we're going to stretch the legs back. And again, feel free to pick up the pace, going a bit faster, as fast as you feel is safe and playful for you. Forwards and back. We'll just take two more, just like that. And Last one. And carefully come off the ball. We're going to come to lying on our backs. The ball is going to be in front of us. Place the legs on the ball. Place the hands on your lower stomach. Let's take a second to come back to the breath. And when we exhale, really feel that sense of the pelvic floor muscles engaging the stomach, pulling in and up towards the top of the head. Let's do it just one more time like that. In. And exhaling, really deepening the work of the stomach. So now I'm going to place the feet against the ball. Again, hands clasped behind the head. Inhale, exhale, bringing the head and shoulders up and reaching the ball away, lengthening the tips of the toes away from the top of the head and coming back down. Again, exhale, lengthen, top of the head in one direction, tips of the toes in the other direction. Come back. One more time and we're going to stay there. Inhale. Exhale, think of reaching the right leg so long that it floats maybe an inch or so, a couple of centimeters off the ball, and back. And then the left leg, reach it long, lift it up, and down. Let's think of doing that with both legs together. Lengthen, see if you can lift your heels just a tiny bit off the ball, and back down. One more time, lengthen, lengthen, lift, hover, down and relax the head back down and we're going to go into the hundreds 
Lift the head and shoulders up. Reach the fingertips towards the ball. Lengthen the legs and float the heels just off the ball. And we're going to start pumping the arms. Breathe in. Two, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Breathing in. Pumping the arms vigorously. Breathing out. Pulling the stomach even more. Breath in. Filling the lungs all the way up. Breathing out. Seeing how much you can draw the navel in. A few more of those. Breathing in. And breathing out, two, three, four, five. Reach the fingertips and relax the head all the way back down and prop your shins onto the ball at a tabletop position. Open the arms to the side. Keep the left shoulder down in place. Exhale, pull the stomach in and use the stomach to bring the ball back. Let's go over to the left. Breathing in, keeping the opposite shoulder down, and pull the stomach in. Let's go again, one more time either side. Breathing it in as you take the legs to the right. Breathing out as you bring them back to center. Over to the left, inhale. Exhale, and really using the stomach to bring the legs back. Now you might want to stay in that version. If you want a bit more challenge, take the ball in between your legs, squeeze the ball, and then we're going to take the same thing with the legs nice and long. Reach the legs over to the right. Exhale, really feeling how the stomach initiates the movement. Over to the left, lengthen the legs away from you. Squeeze the ball, pull the stomach in, come back. You can make this as big or as small as you want. Inhale. And use the stomach, bring it back. Other side. Lengthen the tips of the toes away from you. Pull the stomach. Let's just go one more time like that, either side. In. Pull the stomach in to come back. And inhale. And exhale. Just bring the ball. And our hands roll up a few times till we're coming to a sitting position. The ball's going to be on the front of the shins. I'm going to take a breath in. Just breathe out. We're going to roll halfway back and forward. So the ball's rolling up and down the legs. Stomach in round the back. And forwards. Again, round, back, and forwards. And again, feel free to make it as slow or as fast as you want. Just a few more like that. Last one. And stretch the legs out. Place the ball on the legs. Lengthen. Feel free to bend the knees if you, if you feel any tension in the, sp in the back. Let's take the roll up and the hands are going to squeeze the ball. Inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, round the spine. Really pull the stomach in, reach the ball away from you. And then keep reaching it up and back. Roll up. Inhale. Squeeze. Squeeze the hands into the ball. This time we're going to keep the ball parallel to the floor. It's not going to touch the legs, but we're going to reach it over the legs. Draw the navel back. Exhale, squeeze the ball. And reach it all the way back. Inhale, squeeze. Let's do one more time just like that. Lengthen the arms all the way back. And squeeze. Let's take the same, but take both arms over to the left. And we'll go down to the left, come over to the right, and come up from the right side. Let's go to the other side. So take the arms over to the right, roll down, coming up through the left side, and reach forwards around the world. One side. And to the other side. Let's 
Go one more time around the world either side. And take a moment to stretch. Open the legs, place a ball on the floor. Stretch forwards and rock a little bit forward to the side, right and left. Let's come back to lying on our backs. Again, the ball's going to be squeezed in between the legs. Hands are going to press down to the floor. Inhale. As you exhale, roll the hips up. Think of reaching the toes up towards the ceiling. And down. So let's start with quite a small movement. Be scooping the stomach, lifting the toes up from that scent, work in the center. And keep the whole back of the arms pressing down into the floor. And if it feels right for you, you can start picking up the pace and going up a little bit higher. It's quite challenging. The bull might fall out of your legs, and that's fine. Just bring it back. Keep squeezing twice more. Last one. And come up to sitting. Let's just finish off by finding a comfortable sitting position. Hugging the ball. You can place your forehead on the ball. And rock from side to side. And come back to the gentle breath. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick but effective workout on the ball. And please subscribe if you'd like to do some more classes with me.